I was diagnosed in 2004 at age 24. Um, my father um, was diagnosed before me, but we hadn't had any tests done before that. Mm -hmm. And I went out and felt a bit deflated and a bit sort of um, upset at the time. Uh, I phoned my dad and said, well, I've got it as well then. And sort of from then on, I started to learn more about it. But mm -hmm. it, I think it's just important to be as positive and, you know, especially after the initial diagnosis, it doesn't affect everyone in that way. So that's important to remember that and just be positive about it. And you, know, you need to be educated about it, but not scared really. <laughs> I think, yeah, I, after seeing the doctors and everything, I felt slightly more positive because I did take a bit more control over it uh -huh. uh, in terms of making sure I got the blood pressure medication mm -hmm. sorted out. There is still hope, right? There is. There's yeah, definitely. okay, okay. Well, I suppose the worst diagnosis to have when you're walking out of a hospital, so it could have been a lot worse, but it was, at the same time, it was still a bit of a shock. It's like you have won the uh, ticket in the wrong lot lottery. I, that's how I felt. But, you know, I was really happy in a sort of way because then I could manage my future. I was, it was Christmas year, Christmas day actually 2008. I was the only person in the whole wide world who had this disease and I was so young and I was all by myself at the hospital, New Year's Eve. I was uh -huh. sitting at the window, saw all these fireworks and said, oh, what have I done? My life is over. Your life is over. Oh, yeah, my life is over. What have I done? And you're still here, right? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. So maybe three months after I got this disease, I was into a convent in Stockholm. And there was 250 persons sitting in this audience, and all of them had the disease. Mm -hmm. And then I decided, oh, I'm not by myself. All of these have this. Because you're not alone. No. And it's, you can live with it. It's no hard. It's a very manageable disease. Yeah. Isn't it? it's... Mm -hmm. It's just that you got it, and you can still have an extremely good li yes, life. Yes, you can. <laughs> I just continued to live my life. It was hard to accept that I was sick, though, but when you accept it, you have to respect it. It's your body, and you live with it. Well, I, I, I came to terms with it in the, uh, when I just heard it, um, focusing on the future. OK, let's get married. I want to have children. I'm uh, going to get myself on a low sodium diet. I want to lose some weight. I immediately started um, uh, a low sodium diet. And it gave me a sense of, um, I'm in control. It's, it was some sort of a sport, you know, to get to eat the lower deliciously sodium get. <laughs> and uh, eating low sodium. It gave me a sense of, uh, huh, I can do something to, um, to, to postpone me being ill. Exactly. There's so many delicious things you can still eat and have fun, you know. I was really being busy with nice things, and that helped me. And the, and the thought helped me that, hey, it's going to be uh, worse in 30 or 40 years, perhaps, let's say 30. I can do two things. I can go and, and, and lock myself up and feel miserable for myself. And then I can look back and having been miserable 30 years, or I can, live my life to the fullest, then look back on a life where I've done everything I wanted and was happy.